For our fifth presenter, please join me in welcoming Mickey Garcia with the Museum of Contemporary Art, Santa Barbara. Picture a small southern town deep in the heart of Texas. It's the 60s, post-segregation, yet there's still parts of town where Mexicans aren't allowed to drink from the same water fountains or enter through the front door of restaurants. There, a young man named Juan gets swept up in the Chicano Civil Rights Movement after meeting its artists making posters and murals and photographs. And Juan becomes an artist too, depicting the world around him, a world that seldom has a voice. Against the odds, Juan goes to college, receives a master's degree, and becomes the director of fine arts for an entire public school district. Juan marries and has a daughter who he introduces to artists, poets, and musicians, instilling in her the value that creative self-expression is a route to empowerment. She leaves Texas for Vassar College. She receives a master's, and following in her father's footsteps, becomes the director of an art museum. I am Juan's daughter. <laughs> My name is Mickey Garcia, and I'm the director of the Museum of Contemporary Art, Santa Barbara, where our mission is to advance creativity and inspire critical thinking through meaningful engagement with the art of our time. This year, we need to raise $50,000 to underwrite our educational outreach programs, enabling 1,000 public school students to learn from artists. And we can do this if we can just get 20 donors to join us at the $2,500 Curators Council membership level. Artists are catalysts for social change. Take, for example, Adrian Esparza, who recently presented an exhibition at the museum inspired by St. Barbara, the patron saint of prisoners. Adrian made a large drawing on handkerchiefs, or pañuelos, which were used by inmates to create art. The drawing was inspired by a photograph his cousin had sent him from jail. A commentary on the fact that even in the most repressed conditions, there is a fundamental need to create. One day, as part of our educational outreach, children visited Adrian, and he asked them, how many of you have family in jail? Do you know that more than 50% of the children in that class raised their hand? And he said, I too have family behind bars, and that could have been me. But I used art to take another path, to express my pain in a creative way, and to become a positive role model, and you children can do that too. As the kids left the museum that day, I saw in their eyes a sense of hope and pride and empowerment. They just met a renowned artist, and he looked like them, and he told their story. Contemporary artists made all the difference in my dad's life. I wouldn't be standing here before you if that were not the case. And it can mean the difference in so many of the lives of the children who walk through the Museum of Contemporary Art. Please help us to put students and artists together. Who knows what an experience like that can bring? Actually, I do.